hello everyone welcome back to knowledge circle once again today we will see a program where we have to accept three numbers from user and we have to display these numbers these numbers in descending order okay so for that let's open bluej and now we are going to copy few lines first few lines we'll create a class here with the name des okay now we will paste the code which we have copied first few lines okay and now we will rename the class here now we will display a message for the user to enter three numbers so we will write here system dot out dot print ln enter three numbers okay so three numbers we will accept and we will accept these numbers in integer type variable that is n1 n2 and n3 so we will write here n1 equal to sc dot next int we'll simply write that then after writing the first uh, input statement we will just copy and paste next to and we will rename n n1 as n2 and n3 so in this way we will get three input n1 n2 and n3 now it's time to write the conditions because we have to display them we have to print them in descending order so we have to look for the greatest value first so we will put the condition here if n1 is greater or equal to if n1 is greater or equal to n2 and n1 is greater or equal to n3 it means that we are looking for here that first number is greatest number if that is true then we have to look for another condition we have to check one more condition we will apply one more if here if it is true if n1 is the greatest number then we need to have the second number for the getting the second number what we have to do here we look for this and if n2 is greater than or equal to n3 if it is true it means that n1 is the greatest and the second largest number is n2 then in that condition we can simply print it so i have just pasted the printing statement and we will just write here n1 in that case when n1 is the greatest and n2 is the second greatest number so n1 concatenation comma then again concatenation n2 again we will put comma and then n3 so in this way this will be the descending order and uh, we i have just copied it that whenever it is required we can paste it now else what happens if it is n1 is greatest but n2 is not the second greatest in that case n3 will be the second greatest so our uh, order will be something like this we have to change it here in that case n1 will be first then we will put concatenation and here what we will put we will put n3 and there it will be here third one will be n2 so that is what in that case when n1 is greatest now we will look for another condition we will look for n2 when in that condition second number is greatest so we will simply put here n2 is greater than n1 n2 is greater or equal to n1 and n2 is greater or equal to n3 if n2 it means then when the second number is the greatest number then we will look again for one more number that if we have got n2 as greatest then we need to look, look for second greatest number so we are just simply writing here if n1 is greater or equal to if n1 is greater or equal to n3 okay if it is true then now our, our order will be something like this n2 n1 and n3 so we have to correct that else if n1 is not greater then we have to what we have to write our order will be something like this n2 then it will be what n3 and then n1 if n2 is greatest then otherwise we have to write the co uh, code for n3 also when in that case when number 3 when the last number is greatest number then we have to write another condition so let's write the code for the last one also what we will write here else if we'll give space here else if if n3 is greater than we have to write here let's write the condition for the third one else if if n2 is greater than n1 if n2 is greater than n1 in that case what we have to do we will simply paste the printing statement and we'll update here n3 n2 and n1 that will be what here we will write here n3 n2 and n1 this will be uh, this will be our printing order then after what we have to do we have to go for the else part if n2 is also not greater than n1 then our order will be something like this else it will be what we will print here 
will write here n3 and it's already there n2 and then it we will make it n1 okay it should be n3 n1 and n2 now let's compile it else without if it is uh, generated compiler has generated error uh, the error is generated because of the number of braces we'll just correct it we have to look for number of opening and closing braces so let's look for that yes number of braces uh, are required here let's go here what it is saying else if okay so lo let's go at the top if it is okay if is closed else is closed here if is opened yes it is also closed so we will just uh, look for that we will just put else and here if let's take it back okay now this if is also closed this else is also closed then let's look uh, down okay here this else is closed okay now we'll close this else if block that was not closed here we need uh, we need to take it back now we'll make it as else if now it's all okay let's remove it from here one extra braces is there okay now let's compile okay uh, there is something about variable okay that object is ob we have just copied it in the beginning let's make it sc let's compile it execute it successfully let's run it let's give three values 54 87 so you can see that numbers are printed in descending order 87 54 and 12